Just this week, 18 students and two adults tested positive for the coronavirus after returning from a trip to the beach. So is taking a vacation this summer safe? And if you're planning on going, what should you do to keep yourself protected? New Science Gage Golding asked health officials and reports now with the answers. There's no doubt a lot of us have been bottled up since early March and taking a trip to the beach sounds like a pleasant idea, but that dream vacation could lead you to a positive COVID-19 test only if the proper precautions aren't taken. Well, stay home is a great option. Stay local is even better, uh, but if you are going to travel, do it smartly. Traveling smartly, that means wearing masks, social distancing and sanitizing, a lot of sanitizing. When it comes to airlines, expect sitting every other seat and keeping your mask on. They won't be going with the carts down the aisles and all that kind of stuff anymore. So. Cruise lines, on the other hand, are in a holding pattern until the fall, with changes also on deck. They are not going to start sailing until September 15th. They're not going to do buffets the way they used to. They can't have 10 of us all going by picking up the same spoon and all that. That's going to have to change. If you're dead set on a trip but wondering which method of transportation will put you most at risk, there's an answer, but it's not easy. Airlines do, period, um, because we're in a close setting. Not to mention the numerous touch points within the airport as well. But don't all hop in the car. Gamble says you're exposed when you stop for gas, eat food on the way, and even make restroom stops. If you're beach bound, take a tip from health professionals. <laughs> if you're sitting on the beach, do you need to wear a mask? No, no. If you're sitting on the beach, is the same as you're sitting outside? Or... While you're packing your bag, leave room for some COVID-19 essentials, as well as bug repellent and, of course, sunscreen. Ideally, it would be anything that you, you're going to be washing your hands. Everything from hand sanitizer, soap and water, and especially soap. Um, you got to take those as well as your mask. Once you're back from that trip, West Virginia state health officials are recommending that you quarantine for at least 14 days or at the very least monitor your health. Reporting in downtown Wheeling for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.